Hello, young scientists. Welcome back to STEM Science. Today, we are going to explore the world of diseases. But don't worry, we will also learn how to stay safe and healthy. Let's get started. What are diseases? A disease is a condition that makes our body feel unwell or stop working properly. Have you ever wondered why we sometimes get sick? What if I told you that not all diseases are the same? Some can spread from one person to another, while others cannot. There are two main types of diseases. Infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases. Imagine this, your friend has a cold, and then, a few days later, you catch it too. How did that happen? It's because some diseases are infectious, meaning they can spread from one person to another. But what do you think causes them? Infectious diseases are caused by tiny living things called microorganisms, like bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other parasites. These diseases can spread from one person to another. Let's look at some examples. The flu and common cold are caused by viruses. Tuberculosis TB, is caused by a bacterium. Athlete's foot is caused by a fungus. Dengue is caused by a virus carried by mosquitoes. Polio is a highly contagious infectious disease caused by the polio virus. It primarily affects the nervous system, leading to muscle weakness and, in severe cases, paralysis of legs permanently. After entering the body, the polio virus first multiplies in throat and intestines. From the intestines, it can enter the bloodstream and travel to the nervous system, where it attacks nerve cells responsible for muscle movement. It spread through air, contaminated food, and water. Hepatitis is an infectious disease that causes inflammation of the liver. Hepatitis is caused by hepatitis viruses. Hepatitis primarily affects the liver, leading to swelling, damage, and reduced liver function. Different types of hepatitis spread in different ways. Hepatitis A and E spread by consuming contaminated food or water. Poor hygiene and sanitation. Hepatitis B, C and D transmit through blood and body fluids. Sharing needles or unsterilized medical equipment. Blood transfusions with infected blood. Oh no! The germs are traveling. But how? Can you guess? Through air when we cough or sneeze. Through water or food if it's contaminated. By touching infected surfaces. Through insects or animals, like mosquitoes spreading malaria or dengue. Let's stop those germs. What do you think we should do? Wash hands regularly with soap. Cover our mouth and nose when sneezing. Eat healthy food to stay strong. Get vaccinated for protection. Keep our surroundings clean to fight germs. But wait! What if a disease doesn't spread from person to person? What do we call it? Non-infectious diseases Non-infectious diseases are sometimes called disorders because they often result from internal imbalances in the body. A disorder can be caused by genetic factors, lifestyle choices, environmental influences, or aging. Let's check out some examples. Diabetes is a non-infectious disease and is classified as a disorder because it affects how the body regulates blood sugar, glucose levels. It is not caused by bacteria or viruses. Instead, diabetes occurs due to problems in how the body produces or responds to insulin, the hormone that controls blood sugar levels. Common symptoms of diabetes include Frequent urination, especially at night excessive thirst and hunger, unexplained weight loss, fatigue and weakness, slow healing of cuts and wounds, blurred vision, tingling or numbness in hands and feet, frequent infections, skin, gums, urinary tract. 
Cancer is a great example of a non-infectious disease and is often classified as a disorder because it involves uncontrolled cell growth that disrupts normal body functions. Unlike infectious diseases, cancer does not spread from person to person and is caused by factors such as genetic mutations or changes in DNA. Unhealthy lifestyle choices like smoking, poor diet and lack of exercise. Exposure to harmful substances like radiation, chemicals, and pollution. Aging as risk increases with age. Heart diseases are non-infectious diseases and classified as a disorder because it affects the normal functioning of the heart and blood vessels. It is not caused by bacteria or viruses, meaning it cannot spread from one person to another. Instead, causes of heart diseases are Unhealthy diet like high in fats, sugar, and salt. Lack of exercise. Smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. Stress. Genetic factors. Heart disease does not go away on its own and can lead to serious complications like stroke, heart attack, or even death if not managed properly. What can we do to stay healthy? Eat healthy, more fruits and vegetables. Exercise daily, stay active. Avoid junk food and sugary drinks, too much sugar is bad. Get enough sleep, our body needs rest. Now that we've learned about infectious and non-infectious diseases, it's time to challenge your thinking. Are you ready to explore some curious questions that will make you think deeper and smarter? Let's see how well you understand. Grab a notebook or talk it out with a friend or teacher. Here come some thought-provoking questions just for you. Why do you think hand washing is such a powerful tool in preventing infectious diseases? How would the world be different if vaccines didn't exist? Why can't we catch diabetes or cancer from someone else, like we catch a cold? Imagine a world without clean water or sanitation. What types of diseases might become more common? Why? What habits can you develop now that might protect you from non-infectious diseases later in life? You know the difference between infectious and non-infectious diseases, what causes them, and how to prevent them. Can you share one thing you learned today? Keep staying healthy and see you next time on STEM Science.